What is this cyber security? Here, cyber security is the application of technologies. The main aim of cyber criminals is to make the target machine or target system busy. Cyber security is the process of interconnected system. a warm welcome to my new session on digital fluency and the topic name here is cyber security i am revati from the department of computer science vidyashram first grade college temple of excellence mysuru so dear student in my today's session at the beginning i am going to deal with introduction about cyber security along with that i am going to deal what is cyber security the different types of cyber security along with that i'm going to deal with type of cyber security threats and some of the cyber security safety tips so these are the topics i'm going to deal in my today's session and from the examination point of view all these topics are very very important now dear student before going to start this topics let me to revise the topic which i have covered in my last session so in my last session i started with what is cloud so what is cloud cloud is nothing but remote location remote location so along with that i have discussed what is cloud computing along with that i have discussed the deployment models that is nothing but private cloud public cloud hybrid cloud and community cloud along with that i have discussed the three different types of cloud service that is infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service so these are the three service models along with that i have discussed difference between infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service along with that i have discussed cloud service provider company but in my today's session i'm going to deal with the new topic that is cyber security now tell me why i require cyber security in order to control cyber criminal activity to control cyber criminal activity i require cyber security so what is this cyber security here cyber security is the application of technologies so what is cyber security it is nothing but the application of technology that includes process and control to the protect system that means the main intention is to protect the system as well as networks along with all the programs which is stored in the computer along with devices and data from the cyber attack so what is the job of the cyber criminals here just gain the data and use the data for their financial benefit or just misuse the data that is the job of the crime cyber criminals now to protect all the data as well as network system program or devices i required some standard or some applications of technology for that reason we are going to use cyber security here the main aim of cyber security is to reduce the risk of cyber attack 
why i am going to use cyber security in order to reduce the risk of cyber attacks and protect against unauthorized exploitation of system network and technology that means i want to protect the systems or network as well as technologies from the unauthorized user or unauthorized access for that reason i required cyber security so here cyber security is the protection of interconnected system now why i required cyber security in order to protect the computer which is connected each other or the hardware software and the data from the cyber attack so dear student here cyber security is the process of interconnected system that means it is nothing but the process of protecting the systems or hardwares or softwares or data which is present in the computer system that are interconnected via the internet connection so what is cyber security here it is the process or application of technology used to protect the interconnected system the interconnected system includes all the hardware all the softwares as well as data from the cyber attack then what is hardware here all the hardware like keyboard mouse etc and software here software may be application software or system software and the data from the cyber attack now what is cyber security so dear student the technique of protecting interconnected systems such as computers servers mobile devices electronic system network and data from the malicious attacks is known as cyber security so here it is nothing but the protecting mechanism used to protect the systems that are interconnected via the internet connection or computers or servers or mobile devices or electronic systems or networks as well as data from the malicious attack is known as cyber security so here we are going to divide the word cyber security into two different parts that is one is cyber and one is security so what this cyber refers to here cyber refers to the technology that includes systems networks programs and data so dear student just remember that cyber is nothing but the technology so here technology is referred in terms of computer systems networks programs as well as data and what about security here security is concerned with the protection of systems or protection of networks or protection of applications or protection of programs as well as protection of data or information for that reason it is also called by the name electronic information security or information technology security so dear student what is the another name of cyber security that is electronic information security or information technology security moving further let's see what are the different types of cyber security so dear student at the beginning i am going to have my first type that is network security so what is this network security it's mainly going to 
concerned about the network that is how the computers are connected in the network how they are going to transfer the data all those things comes under network and for that how we are going to provide the security that is concerned with network security so it involves implementing the hardware as well as software to secure computer network that means it's mainly going to deal with the hardware as well as software in order to provide secure computer network from the unauthorized user or from the intruder or from the advisory or from the attack or distribution and misuse that means how we are going to implement the software as well as how we are going to implement the hardware in order to provide the protection that is mainly going to comes under network security so here when i consider network i'm going to encounter the devices like router gateway hub how i am going to provide this security for network connected devices all those things are comes under network security so this security helps that means this kind of security helps an organization to protect its assets from the external as well as internal threats so dear student what is external that is the person that is external to the organization and what is internal the person which who is going to belongs to that organization so here the next type is application security so what is this application security that is mainly related to all the application software that means how i am going to use the application software and how i am going to provide the security for those application software all those things comes under application security so it involves protecting the software as well as devices from unwanted threats this is mainly going to deal with the protection and that can be done by constantly updating the application software to ensure they can secure from attack for this reason frequently we are going to get the notification that update the application software i want to update the application software in order to get extra features as well as to provide security i'm going to update the software so here successful security begins in the design stage that means if i want to provide better security then that must be started at the designing stage write source code validation that means validate threat modeling etc before program or device is deployed that means before going to design any application software we have to provide this security and how we are going to provide this security that means while writing program itself we are going to consider different different possibilities of threats along with that i'm going to verify the validation as well as threat modeling and all those things where and when i'm going to perform that is during designing stage now i'm going to have my next type of cyber security that is information or data security so as the type itself indicates that i want to provide this security to whom i want to provide this security 
to data or to information and how i am going to provide the security for that let me to consider the example that is i am going to use cell phone and most frequently what i am going to do i am going to store all the data in my cell phone now i want to provide security to my cell phone how i am going to provide the security here by using password or by using pin or by using biometrics i can able to provide the security similarly it involves implementing a strong data storage mechanism so it involves implementing a strong storage mechanism to maintain the integrity and privacy of data integrity and privacy of data both in storage and in transist so here it is mainly concerned with how we are going to provide the integrity of data as well as privacy of data for that what i want to do i want to implement strong data storage mechanism because i'm going to store all the informations as well as all the datas in storage media now i'm going to have operational security so it involves processing and making decision operations means what there is nothing but the processing and making decision on handling and securing data asset that means while performing operation on data or information i just want to concentrate on security and i'm going to concentrate on data security by using operational security that is in terms of processing and making decision now i'm going to have my next type that is mobile security so as the name itself indicates that mobile security that means i'm going to provide security for all the mobile devices it involves securing and organizational and personal data stored on mobile devices so here when i consider any organization they have their own employee and all the employees are able to store and manage the data in their mobile devices so what is mobile devices here that is nothing but cell phone computer laptop and other similar devices uh, like tablets all those things are comes under mobile devices and i want to protect all the mobile devices against various malicious threats these threats are unauthorized access device loss or theft malware etc that means these threats that means unauthorized access may be leads to device loss or misuse of data or theft or malware then i'm going to have my last type it is cloud security so here this involves in protecting the information which is stored in the digital environment or cloud architecture so here cloud security is mainly going to deal with cloud infrastructure that means we are going to store all the datas in the cloud now i want to protect that cloud from the unauthorized access or misuse for that i am going to have cloud security here i am going to deal how i am going to provide the security for my all the assets which is stored in the cloud so it uses various cloud 
सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स सच एज ए डब्ल्यू एस अजूर गूगल एक्सेट्रा एंड वी मस्ट वॉन्ट टू एनश्योर सिक्योरिटी अगेनेस्ट मल्टीपल थ्रेट्स मूविंग फर्दर आई एम गोइंग टू हैव द types of cyber security threats so what is threat here who is going to harm the system or who is going to harm the software or data or information so here malware so this is my first type so what is malware here malwares are in terms of malicious software which is the most common cyber attacking tool so the most common cyber attacking tool here is malware it is just a malicious software and it is used by the cyber criminals or cyber attacker to hack to disrupt or damage a legitimate user system that means hackers are going to use these malicious software to harm the system or hack the system so the most common malwares are virus spyware worms so what is virus it's the example for malicious piece of code that spreads from one device to another device and once it affected and it's going to corrupt whole data which is stored in that device so it is a malicious piece of code that spreads from one device to another it can clean files that means here viruses are responsible for cleaning the files at the same time spreads throughout a computer system infecting files it's also responsible for cleaning as well as infecting as well as stores information or damages system the next type of malware here is spyware so what is this spyware once again it is a malicious software that secretly records information about user activity on their system that means by using spyware anyone can able to record the information about user activity and last one worms it is a piece of software that spreads copies of itself that means worms are responsible for replicating itself and it's going to spread itself from one device to another device without any human interaction that means without any human interaction the worms are responsible for spread from one device to another now the next type of threats here is phishing so what is phishing phishing is a type of cyber criminal activity where senders are senders seem to came from genuine organization that means when the receiver receives any mail and they are going to think that the mail came from the genuine user so here senders seems to come from a genuine organization like paypal ebay financial institute or friends and co-workers now when they contact a target 
और टारगेट्स वाया ईमेल, फोन एक्सेट्रा मैसेज विथ अ लिंक सो डियर स्टूडेंट मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली वी आर गोइंग टू गेट ईमेल मैसेज और वी आर गोइंग टू गेट दी मैसेज एंड दैट मैसेज इंक्लूड्स सम लिंक एंड व्हेन वी क्लिक दैट मैसेज it's going to redirect it to some other website that is nothing but the fraud relent website so here they contact a target or targets via email phone or text message so here the intruders main aim is to target the email or phone or text message with a link so what the intruders are going to do they are going to send the message that may be email message or text message that includes some link this link will will redirect them to fraudulent website to provide sensitive data such as personal information banking as well as credit card information social security number username as well as password that means when we click that link that link is redirected to another website there we are going to get the informations like enter the password or enter bank details or credit card details all those things this is the way also intruders are going to hack the information when clicking on the link will also install malware that means when we get any link and if i click that link there are certain time it's going to install malicious software to my laptop or to my cell phone these are the some of the examples for phishing attack now i'm going to have man in middle attack so what is this man in middle there is one third party and who is that third party that is none other than intruder and what is the job of the third party is to gain the access to the target machine so a man in the middle attack is a type of threats in which a cyber criminals or intruder or hacker intercepts a conversation or data transfer between two individuals that means while transferring data from sender to receiver the third party that is nothing but the cyber criminals are responsible for intercepting the conversation once the cyber criminals place them in the middle of two party communication they seems like genuine participants and can get sensitive information as well as returns different purpose or once the cyber criminals place them in the middle or a two party communication they seems like a genuine participants or genuine user and can get sensitive data or information and return different response so the main objective of this type of attack is to gain access to our business or customer data once again the intention of the intruder is to get complete information about the business or customer data now the next type of cyber security 
threat is denial of service there is nothing but distributed denial of service this type of cyber threat or malicious attempt where cyber criminals disrupt target system or target server so this is also one kind of threat the main aim of the cyber criminals is to disrupt or disturb the target machine or target server or services or network regular traffic by fulfilling legitimate request to the target that means the main aim of cyber criminals is to make the target machine or target system busy by sending some bogus request to the server so here the request come from several ip address that can make the system unreachable here the main intention of the cyber criminals is to make the system busy that is nothing but unreachable so what they will do they simply start sending request to the server that their intention is to make the server or system busy so that other client or other users are not able to get the services and the next type of threat here is brute force so what is this brute force in this mechanism the hackers or intruder or cyber criminals are going to use trial and error method how they are going to start they just start guessing the pattern that is nothing but the password as well as user name so they just use us trial and error method so a brute force attack is a cyber that is cryptographic hack it is a cryptographic hack that uses a trial and error method that means here hackers are going to use trial and error method that means they guess all the possible combination by guessing they are trying to break the system until the correct information is discovered that means they simply uses trial and error method so here cyber criminals usually uses this attack to obtain personal informations like password login information that is nothing but credential even encryption key and personal identification number that is nothing but pins so these are the some of the type of cyber security threats along with that i'm going to have sql injection so dear student we know that all the data as well as informations are stored in the database management system now suppose if i want to get any response from the database i want to write the query that means i want to send the request now whatever the request i'm going to send that is in the form of query for that i'm going to use sql programming language now while writing query itself the cyber criminals are going to inject some malicious code that is known as sql injection so here sql injection is a common attack that occurs when cyber criminals uses malicious sql script for back end database manipulation and access sensitive information 
so they just uses malicious sql script in order to get the data which is stored in the database and they are going to use those data only for for their benefit or they may misuse the data which is stored in the database so once the attack is successful the malicious actor can review that means once the criminals are succeeded in the injecting some malicious script then they can able to view the data or they can able to modify the table or they can able to delete the table or delete sensitive company data so dear students once the cyber criminals are successfully injected some sql script that is nothing but malicious sql script then they can able to view the data or they can able to make the changes or delete sensitive company data or user list or private customer details which is stored in the sql database so this is all about sql injection so dear student along with that i am going to have cyber safety tips so what is my first tip here that is i want to conduct cyber security training and awareness that means i want to educate all the employees regarding cyber criminal activity i want to train the employee as well as i just want to give the awareness now the next tip here is update software and operating system so frequently i want to update all the softwares as well as all the operating system that means i want to update application software as well as system software then i want to use antivirus software to keep my system protected i just want to use antivirus software any antivirus software i can able to use now i want to use strong password that means while specifying password use combination of numbers special characters as well as character do not open email attachment from unknown sender that means when you receive any mail first go through the mail id if the mail came only from the user that means only from the known user then open the link otherwise no need to open any email attachment avoid using unsecured wifi network in public place there are certain time we are going to get the message that wifi is available so it is better that don't use unknown or unsecured wifi network which is present in the public place as well as take the backup of the data periodically so these are the some of the cyber safety tips we have to follow so dear student in my today's session i started with what is cyber security and the different types of cyber security along with that i have discussed the threats as well as some of the safety measurement in my next session i am going to deal with applications of emerging technology anyway dear student let's meet in the next session with the new chapter that is applications of emerging technology until that keep watching and keep learning thank you